Poster presentation number 51, soft drinks consumption practices, awareness of ill effects, sugar content of soft drinks and the factors influencing soft drink consumption among students in Kotaravala Defense University by Karunathilaka KWAN, Karunajiva KGSH, Kulasinga IRRP, Dolka D, Lienage SD, Jaisekara MMPT. Paper presented by Karunathilaka KWAN. Good morning, everyone. So we studied on soft drink consumption practices, awareness of ill effects and sugar content, and factors influencing soft drink consumption among university students. So do you know, consuming one can of soft drink per day will increase the risk of coronary heart disease by 20%, and consuming two cans of soft drinks per day will increase the risk of diabetic mellitus by 25%. There are many research which suggest the harmful effects of sobering consumption, but only few addresses on the knowledge of sugar content and ill effects of sobering consumption. So we did a descriptive cross-sectional study among 166 students of eight faculties in Kotalawa Defense University. We used a self-administrated questionnaire there then we analyzed the data. So we found about 84% of students consume soft drink. Then 67%, which is denoted by red and orange in the graph, percent consumes more than 200 milliliters of soft drinks per week. And out of that 67%, about 20%, which is denoted by red, consumes more than 200 milliliters per day. Mind you, ladies and gentlemen, World Health Organization suggests only to consume 25 grams of added sugar per day. But a soft drink can itself has about 40 grams of sugar. So when considering the reason for this much of consumption of soft drink, we found that 58% of the students consume soft drink because of its taste. And about 18% consume soft drink because of unavailability of another suitable drink. And about 12% consume soft drink because of unavailability of drinking water. And it was really interesting to find that about more than 50% of the students believes that soft drink is an essential component of the youth. And also about 43% of students believes that they are addicted to soft drink. So it shows there's something wrong in the way they think. And also we were able to find more than 50% of the students has noticed that increase in the consumption of soft drink after joining the university. When talking of awareness, we found that the medical students has good knowledge on ill effects and the color coding system. It, it is very clear in the p-values we got and the graphs. In the graph, the blue color denotes the awareness regarding the color coding system, red color denotes the unawareness. So though they are having a better knowledge, we found that they are not good in practice. They were not looking at the sugar content of the soft drink before consumption. So it shows better knowledge doesn't inform us good practice always. So to mitigate these issues of soft drink consumption, what we suggest are banning soft drink among in the university premises, provide free and safe drinking water, educate students through social marketing campaigns, and impose taxes on soft drinks, finally, Reduce the soft drink sugar content. Thank you. Thank you for the presentation. The paper is now open for questions. The economical status of the parents, was there any correlation of that with the consumption of soft drink? Yes, madam. We, uh, in the at questionnaire, we ask regarding their income that get, that, that means the amount of money they get in the to spend in the university, but they, it didn't affect much for the consumption of soft drink. We, are, uh, we asked that in the questionnaire, but there was nothing significant of that. Uh, had they got any input during their university days in the curriculum or outside of it about the ill effects of soft drink consumption? Uh, did you uh, uh, we didn't ask them? regarding that uh, in our question.
and you found that the practices were not different uh, there was no significant difference between the practices of the medical medical students compared to the other students is that what you were saying now uh, in, when coming into practice mm -hmm. it was much n not much difference uh, but when uh, in the practice of looking at the soft drink sugar content before consumption the medical students showed about 50 percent while other faculties showed around percentages of 70s to 80 percent uh, right. so it shows somewhat lower than the normal values Thank you, and uh, with that we come to the end of this presentation.